Georgina manages a wastewater treatment facility, which includes an aerobic digester with a 55 foot diameter and a nine foot sidewall depth. The digester treats 25,000 gallons of thickened sludge daily that has a 3.5% solids concentration and an 80% volatile matter. The volatile solids loading rate would be most nearly A. 0.42 B. 0.34 C. 0.27 or D. 0.22 Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. In today's problem, we will discuss aerobic digestion. Aerobic digestion is a process in sewage treatment designed to reduce the volume of sewage sludge and make it suitable for subsequent use. Recent technology has been developed that allows the treatment and reduction of various organic waste, such as food and horticultural waste. It is a bacterial process occurring in the presence of oxygen. Aerobic digestion is typically used in an activated sludge treatment plant. Waste activated sludge and primary sludge are combined where appropriate and passed through a thickener where the solids content is increased. This substantially reduces the volume that is required to be treated in the digester. Air is pumped through the tank and the contents are stirred to keep the contents fully mixed. Carbon dioxide, waste air, and small quantities of other gases including hydrogen sulfide are given off. Bacteria rapidly consume organic matter and convert it into carbon dioxide, water, and a range of lower molecular weight organic compounds. As there is no new supply of organic matter from sewage, the activated sludge biota begin to die and are used as food by other bacteria. These waste gases require treatment to reduce odors in treatment facilities close to housing or capable of generating public nuisance. The digestion is continued until the percentage of degradable solids is reduced to a much lower solids concentration depending on local conditions. Where non-sewage waste is being processed, organic waste such as food and horticultural waste are significantly reduced in volume, leaving an output that can be used as soil improver or biomass fuel. To solve this problem, we need to solve for the daily volumetric flow rate of volatile solids as well as the volume of the digester. We have the dimensions of the digester and knowing the volume calculation will be the cross-sectional area of the digester multiplied by its height. We can solve for this and we get a volume of 21,382 cubic feet. Now let's solve for the volumetric flow rate of volatile solids. We are getting a flow of 25,000 gallons of sludge daily and this sludge has a solids concentration of 3.5% and a volatile matter concentration of 80%. We can use the density conversion of 8.345 pounds per gallon of water and we can multiply all these values together and we get 5,841 pounds of volatile solids per day. We have our two pieces of information needed to get our rate and we divide the total solids per day rate by the volume of the digester and we get 0.27 pounds per cubic foot per day of volatile solids, which is answer C. Join us for episode 24 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.